According to Stanford professor Dr. Sapolsky, chess grandmasters can burn up to 6,000 calories. In 1984, the chess world championship was cancelled because champion Anatoly Karpov had lost 22 pounds. And Grandmaster Mikhail Antipov burned 560 calories in just two hours of playing chess. Now, is this all true and how can this be? Chess is a game of thinking and to understand how you can lose weight by thinking, we have to look at the brain. Our brain is just 2% of our body weight while it burns 20% of all the energy we eat every day. This makes it the main consumer of glucose. Now glucose gives the brain its fuel for its natural function through the production of this molecule called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. With this energy molecule ATP, the brain gets the fuel to compute and process information. Under normal conditions, the amount of glucose used for the production of ATP is tightly bound to the activity in the brain. This is very handy in a clinic, for example with PET scans. With a PET scan, you can look how much glucose is being burned in a specific spot, and if it's too much, it might show you a tumor. So the brain needs energy to compute, and playing chess is asking a lot of computation from the brain. In this study done by Troubat et al, it is seen that chess players get an increase of heart rate of around 75 beats per minute. Would you like to crush another man's ego? Uh -huh. So when they go home that night, you know, they know that they can't kid themselves if they're so hot. The breathing of chess players is also suggestive them starting to burn more fats. So why were they burning fats if you need glucose? That's because these chess players were ready to burn another fuel, ketones. ketones. Now ketones are a fuel source your brain uses when there is not a lot of glucose. It's produced in the liver and in different parts of your brain using fat molecules. What's really cool about ketosis is that your brain shifts into burning ketones, which in turn causes your brain to produce more mitochondria the powerhouse of the cell. Now for chess players, more mitochondria means more ability to burn fuel, which means more energy for raw calculations. The increase in mitochondria was in this study found to be high in the hippocampus. The hippocampus is a part of your brain that is responsible for the formation and retrieval of memories. What could this mean for people with Alzheimer's, for example? That's another video that I will make. So hit the subscribe button for that one. For chess players, could improve their memory. Perhaps that is why grandmasters are able to see one position and remember it for the rest of their lives. So, chess players are forced to constantly think, and we have seen that thinking requires a lot of energy in the form of glucose. However, when there's no more glucose left, there is another energy source called ketones, which can be a bit more efficiently burned. And because these ketones are made of fat molecules, you could theoretically think yourself thin. So by playing chess, you could definitely burn 6,000 calories but you would have to play a lot of long and difficult games. So make a chess.com account and get to playing.